So in my videos, I've never talked about my experiences with mixing DMT with MAOI, but not in the traditional sense of pharmawaska, but just either smoking free-based harmalas with DMT or uh, so, um, taking Syrian rue orally and then smoking DMT on top of it. So the I'll get into the experience of taking the Syrian rue orally and then smoking the DMT on top of it and basically explain what that was like. And the reason why this happened was because I originally I was going to do pharmawaska, but the the experience ended up dudding. I didn't time the the Syrian rue MAOI with the DMT too properly. I think this one was either too early or too late, so it didn't end up working. And I was pretty upset about it, so I was I just decided, you know what, I'm just going to smoke DMT on top of it and see what happens. So when I smoke the DMT on top of it, I basically got pretty uh, nauseous, I think. This was the first time that I was close to puking on uh, just smoking DMT. And the experience was different. I didn't actually get out of body. It was more of a uh, very complex geometry and alteration of my visual field. And granted, I, I believe it was pretty light outside, and that was part of the reason why I maybe wasn't able to get out of body. But I remember it lasting for probably um, 30 minutes or so uh, to get back to baseline. And I, I felt very sick from it, or I felt like I was going to puke, and I, I was close to puking all over myself. And not sick in the way that I was ill or whatever, just sick in the way of my stomach was was about to throw up. It, it kind of triggered the gag reflex in me more so than it would it ever would with just smoking DMT alone. So uh, I didn't experience any entities. It was just complex geometry. And it was still a very interesting, I intense experience. And I'm, I'm glad that I had that experience just to, to understand what happens when you smoke DMT on an, an MAOI uh, taken orally. But um, I definitely would have traded that experience for having the pharmawaska actually work. So that's just a little bit of a experience on just the, the taking it orally and then trying to smoke the DMT. And then I had other experiences where I had uh, free-based harmalas. So these were, this was an ac extract from Syrian rue. And uh, the harmalas, they I, originally I wanted to use it for uh, actually taking it orally, but for some reason it wasn't potent enough to take orally, but it was potent enough to smoke. Um, I'm not really sure why it didn't work. I really have to research it. I would even put it in orange juice, and then I would put it under under a black light, and then it would be it would be glowing under the black light. So I knew it was active, but I guess I just needed much more to really get that kind of effect. So I ended up just smoking it with the DMT. And this was pretty interesting because the experience would last around 45 minutes. And from what I remember, it wouldn't exactly put me in the same states as just smoking DMT on its own would. I wouldn't get the same kind of out-of-body experience, but it would be very mind mentally cha uh, changing my, my state of mind. So I would feel very euphoric and... Um, kind of this godlike feeling that you get more so from taking oral DMT, I think. Um, what was really cool about it is that when you keep dosing it more and more and more, then it begins to feel like pharmawaska completely. So that was really cool that if you didn't exactly want to take everything orally, you can just keep smoking uh, the MAOI mixed with DMT until you get to um, a pharmawaska feeling state it was really cool it would just keep altering how your how your mind sort of saw reality and then it would feel exactly like oral dmt um i would not really i did i never really had experiences seeing any entities or meeting any entities with that kind of combo it was definitely more more so the the oral dmt type flavor of experience but I really liked doing that more so than I liked taking the Syrian root orally and then smoking it on that. I found that was too that made me too sick and too nauseous. But uh, yeah, mixing them in with, with the two. If I didn't if I didn't want to take oral DMT, then I would definitely do that. And I'm, I was actually thinking maybe I should try that again because I've been 
taking a long break from the oral DMT experience. So it would be interesting to kind of reach that state just a little bit, but not have to fully invest in it because the trip's only around 45 minutes. It's definitely longer than a normal DMT trip, but it's not nearly as long as taking it everything orally and then having to wait like five hours for the whole thing to end so uh but yeah if you just keep if someone were to just keep t taking the dose over and over it just feels exactly like formal oska so it's really neat that way and uh i would definitely be interested in hearing what other people have to say about that combo because that was my experience with it um i would be i would be interested to see what you guys think about it definitely and uh yeah that's that's pretty much it um that's that's been all my experience with it. I haven't really done it too many times. I, I only had the chance to, to smoke the two uh, extracts uh, for, for the amount that I had, and then I never really uh, invested time in getting getting more of the Harmala extract. So maybe one day I'll, I'll look into it again. But uh, in the meantime, I've, I've just been still staying sober and not tripping at all. Uh, you guys know why by now. So uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Just wanted to report what I what I experienced with those. And uh, yeah, if you guys uh, like my content and you haven't subscribed yet, feel free to subscribe because it definitely helps me out. And I will see you in the next video. So peace out.